がないな仕様が変わってるんですよこの。カレンダーめっちゃ見やすくなりましたけどね。ホーム開幕戦ですけど。あダルビッシュにしましょうかね。開幕投手。ねえ、ホームで。で地元。今度 MLB ネットワークでいきましょうかねで天気は快晴でで先発をダルビッシュに変えますわでまあスタメンはもうこのままではい。
Hey, just like any team, pitching is going to be the key factor for this ball club as the year plays out. I'm sure the staff will have its ups and downs, uh, but putting I'm together some pitch. quality outings early in the season could do wonders for this club getting out of the gate with a good start. The game's count starting now. Opening day on MLB Network, and it's coming up next. You Darvish gets the call to pitch here on opening day in front of the hometown crowd. What do we need to know here, Danny? You Darvish is what you look at when you're looking for an ace. Big, strong guy came over from Japan, 95 to 97 miles an hour, all the way back from Tommy John surgery. Has the curveball, the changeup, and the slider. Will throw any pitch at any count. One of the top pitchers in the game, and you'll know early if he's seeing a lot of swings and misses and strikeouts. It's going to be a long day for those guys swinging the bats. 大丈夫でしょう。あ、消えてる、消えてる。ヒセットエンドピッチ。チームロカストロ Fly ball out toward left center field. Fam, a range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first out. With that, the batting order for the visiting Arizona Diamondbacks. Mark, what do you have on this lineup as they go for their first win? Matt, you take a look at this lineup. I find myself thinking back to my playing days when I knew I had the ace on the mound. It had to be win day. And when you get in a car to drive to the yard, you tell yourself, even though you felt bad about it, just get two or three. All the pressure's on the big boy to have to execute, and he usually does. Look for this lineup to try and execute and score, manufacture one or two runs early in this one. First pitch of the A-B now. Nick Ahmed comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. and Our temperature at first pitch and even 70 degrees here this afternoon. The 1 0 home. Fly ball right down the line and left. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. And now in the box, David Peralta. Head to head numbers with you, Darvish. An impressive four for seven. Two of those hits were for home runs. Come set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. Bases are empty here with two men out. Ah, Still no balls and two strikes. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Inside and high with that one, one ball, two strikes. And he takes very close to the inside corner here, two and two, though. Here's the pitch. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Back goes Grisham on the warning track. He makes the catch. Diamondbacks down in order. And now the Friars will get their first chance. No score.
And now here is Tommy Pham. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Here's the pitch. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. よりなんかこう人間らしくなってますよね。カッターサークルチェンジカーブ。Now the pitch. Inside and he falls behind the hitter now 2 and 0. ここがまた気持ちいい音です。Too tight with that one. 3 and 0. Yeah, a little wild here early on. Doesn't look like he's totally settled into the game yet. Hopefully, he can find it soon. From the windup, the 3 0 pitch. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. And it's fouled away. The 3-2 pitch. Swing and a high fly ball out to left field. Peralta going back at the track. The wall. A solo shot that time for Tommy Pham. First home run of the campaign for him, and the Padres bust out in front, one to nothing. Well, after a long winter and a grueling spring, everyone is anxious to get the season started, but to start it off with a home run? There's no better way to get your campaign underway. He was rounding the bases thinking, hey, this is going to be a good year. And at the plate is Jake Cronenworth. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Might have thought about it here, but he lays off the breaking ball inside. It's even at one. If you're on the mound right here, you got to trust your catcher and execute. You know who's coming up to the plate. Fouled away. バットニーさんも出てましたよ。さっき見たら。同じみのバットニーさんが。Fouled off. Again, a one-two. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. これが顔のままか。写真はね、だいぶ変わってたんだけど、やっぱ見た目は変わらなかったですね。And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Well, I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it, trying to get him to swing through it, but it just ended up taking off on him. This one's also hit well, deep down the right field line. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first out. For the moment here in downtown San Diego, we'll look at the Padres' starting lineup. Nero, give us what you have on this lineup as they start a new series. Well, Matt, this goes for both lineups. They know they're dealing with a tough test in a pitcher's park, but they can't let that bother them too bad. Or they'll walk out of here at 3, 4 games set, 0 for 12, 0 for 15. They have to find a way to stay within themselves. Line drive approach. One will carry out of here if they get it. And he fouls this one off. The wind up and the 0 1. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. Hey, that 0-2 fastball wasn't even close, but I'm hit right now. I'm still sitting on that heater. The 
a one two. Popped him up. Ah, smart. Vote moving to his left. Two down. Batting four. The third baseman. So the bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring in Manny Machado. Machado, Manny Machado. Now the first pitch. Two out, nobody on. Here's a ground ball for Ahmed at short. He's got it. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. The Padres get one in the inning, and it comes on the solo home run. We'll head to the top of the second. It's one nothing, San Diego. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Cattel Marte. Ready to deal, here comes the first pitch. The 1-0. And he finds a way to catch the zone here. It's one and two. Are Orioles cut out the chance? Okay. Pitch break. Swung out, and this ball is absolutely crushed. Forget about it. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. A solo shot down the line in right. First home run of the campaign for him, and the Diamondbacks strike here to make it a 1-1 ball game. At the plate, Christian Walker, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Head-to-head -head numbers with you, Darvish. He's gone two for five. The 0-1 delivery. Hey. Pretty unusual that you see a 5-0 hitter take two strikes in a row. Typically, those are some of the most aggressive batters in the lineup. High in the air down the right field line. And no oh. one can get there. It's a foul ball. A pause and the 0-2. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. So one down, no one aboard. And that'll bring up Eduardo Escobar. First pitch on its way. Lined into right, a base hit. Yeah, definitely not the execution you're looking for to pull an outside breaking ball, but who cares? Next day's box score, that's a line drive. Cole Calhoun will stand in now. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Ah, not okay. Yeah, that's a fair ball lined to the right side. Escobar isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. The tag, and he's safe. They've taken the lead. Cliches are around for a reason, and that hit right there is a reason they say baseball is a game of inches, right? Just barely fair, but that's not much consolation to the guy standing on the mound. Nice RBI two bagger.
In now, Stephen Vogt, as Darvish will jump ahead of him here with strike one. Head-to-head -head numbers with you, Darvish. He's got eight hits in 29 at-bats. He also has one home run. Yokohama Escobar, one here it comes. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He pulls into second safely as also on the play a run comes across to score. Well, we've already had some hard hit balls in the first two innings here, and here's another one. Absolutely jumped off his bat and into the outfield, bringing another run home here in the early going. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. これで打たれるようやったらもうピッチャーをちょっと作っとかんとやばいですね。Into the box, Zach Gallen as Darvish will jump ahead of him here with strike one. あれこれピッチャーじゃないですか。<笑>さっきのピッチャーです。Comes set with the 0-1. Called strike 0-2. Time to take a look at the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Mike Fillmore. Hey, you know, D-Roll, Mike Fillmore, he'll give a little bit off the edges, but he gets the respect not only from the pitchers, but from the players because his zone is consistent. Yeah, as long as he's consistent, Dan, I'm okay yes. with Mike Fillmore's zone. If a pitcher's pounding that zone, he wants to give a little bit off the outer edge, I'm okay with that. So it was a strikeout swinging. Zach Galley goes down for out number two in the top half. To the plate now, Tim LoCastro popped him up. Tatis is there for it. He handles it easily, and the inning is over. So three runs on four hits, no errors, and a man left on. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. D-backs lead it three to one. Now it'll be Eric Hosmer. His prior history versus this arm. He's a 333 hitter. Pitch on the way. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. Mm. And he takes strike three called on the fastball, one gone. Just flat out froze him there. Nothing too deceptive about that four-seam fastball, so I think he wasn't expecting it at all. So here's Will Myers. As he'll take a look at ball one. Not sure. Bases are empty, one man out. Lays off again, and it's 2 and 0. Oh. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. That's the cat and mouse of the game right there. You find yourself count leverage. You think you're getting a heater. He throws an off-speed pitch, and you're still able to execute. That fires me up right there. Over to the bag and a dive, but he's back in. That'll bring up Austin Nola, and on the first pitch, he grounds foul. Nola Sandisco. Myers, a runner at first with one gone in the inning. 
Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way. And that's in there. Base hit. Now a long throw to third. Yes, yes. Digging in now for San Diego. Trent Grisham, lifetime against this pitcher. He's one for two. First delivery to him. And it's fouled away. Hey, this is a left-handed hitter that can fly down the line. If they want to turn two, they're going to have to be almost perfect. Cool. Started to go around hey. there. Looked like he held Swing. up in time. No, strike two, says the third base umpire. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Nope, Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Gotcha. Runners are at the corners with one man out. And a fastball oh. swung on and missed as he just reared Not back there. Down. Two away. Always tough for one of these base umpires to make a call on a guy's check swing. Go. It's not a great Mitchell. angle, and everything happens so quickly. Mm -hmm. So they really have to be paying attention out there. Looking at the replay, I think he got it right. So that's a tip of the cap for the blue. From the belt, the pitch fouled away. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. Runners at the corners, two men out. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Ah, to 2 and 2 now. Yeah, from a pitcher's perspective right here, you got to treat this guy like he's the four hole hitter. With runners in scoring position, I know it's the pitcher at the plate, but you got to execute. Fouled off. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Three two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Lifted in the ah, air to shallow okay. center field. In comes the center fielder. He ah, slides yeah. and makes the catch. A beautiful play to end nice. the inning. And he's got one grateful pitcher after this one. A beautiful sliding yeah, catch for the third out. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Top of the third set to get underway. And stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Nick Ahmed. I'm interested to see how focused their ABs will be playing with this lead. I think this needs to be a little bit of a smell blood inning. Keep the fire rolling. I know it's early, but keep the pressure going. Swinging the bat's nice. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. One ball, one strike. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Fam is there and he'll bring this one in. Now batting left field, David Peralta. One gun in the Arizona third, and up next the outfielder David Peralta. Here's the first pitch. Now a half swing here as he wanted to pull it back, but he does so too late. It's strike one. In there, and he's ahead 0 2 now. Oh. 
hit out towards second. Scoops up. And that's the second out. Now batting the center fielder, Patel Marte. So the bases are empty with two gone now, and that'll bring up the infielder, Cattell Marte. Here's the first pitch to him. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. Third inning here, three to one. Our score. And he fouls this one off. Um, Swing and a miss, and that's out number three. So one, two, three go the Diamondbacks, and it's still three to one. Bottom of the third now, and coming forward the veteran outfielder Tommy Pham. Now here's the first offering. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Fam with an even one and one count now. Hit in the air down the right field line. On the move is Calhoun. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. Up next to the the second baseman. Stepping in next, Jake Cronenworth flew out in his only at bat so far. First offering. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. One out, nobody on. 2 0 now. And that's taken for a strike on the inside corner. 2 and 1. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. The 2 2. You don't see too many guys at this level be laid on off speed pitches right there. That tells me he was totally sitting on something else or was going automatic take. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Peralta on the move. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. So two out, nobody on. And that will bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Fastball just off the inside corner. Hey, a two out walk right here would be the tying run to the plate. Even though it's early on, you've got a guy on deck that has a lot of pop. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 0. Tatis Jr. 
And now a called strike that time as the zone expands a bit here. It's two and one now. Now here's the pitch. Ball even at two and two. And he lays off a pitch off the plate and high, three and two. And this is where he's especially dangerous because if you walk him, he can steal a base on you. But if you lay a fastball in there, he can take you deep too. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Peralta gets under it and makes the catch to end the inning. Padres down in order. Score holds. It's three to one. Stepping up is Christian Walker. Leading off for Arizona, the first baseman, Christian Walker. First pitch on the way. The 1 0. Line, but speared on a hop. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. The third baseman, number five, Eduardo Escobar. Digging in, the switch hitter, Eduardo Escobar. He collected a base hit his first time up. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. After it is Myers. He gets there, and that's the second out. The batter. The right Timing will give up. Now into the box, Cole Calhoun. He doubled his last time up. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Fouled away. Hey, he's done an amazing job of settling down. Two innings ago, I thought they were going to run him out of here. But now he's close to posting two shutout innings as a response. Hold hard, but it's foul down the first base side. Three to one is our score here in inning number four. Another one sent foul. His heart sank right there when that ball met the bat, but just had him out front just enough to give him another shot at potentially putting him away. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. 
Diamondbacks down in order as the lead remains three to one. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with San Diego's he manager during the inning break on. about the Padres' offensive From production at this point. Denied. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Bottom of the inning now, and set to go is the third baseman, Manny Machado. <laughs> now the first pitch. Hmm. Ah, Ready with the one open. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. Fouled off. Machado. The two-one home will not catch the zone. Ball three. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. The 3 1. Ah, Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. And he'll steer clear of the flying oh, debris to make the catch here for the first out. The first baseman, Aaron Hosmer. So bases are empty with one out now. And standing in, here's the first baseman, Eric Hosmer. Now here's the pitch. Uh, couldn't hold up on the curveball there as he went around for strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. Behind 0-2 now. Not close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. Ball two. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt. Hit out towards second. And there's out number two. And this is not an easy play when you have to range to your right. He really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm, nicely done. Here's Will Myers. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. One for one with a single so far. The 1 0. A ball and a strike now. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. The 1 1. This one's flared off to the right side. Lo Castro is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for San Diego. They still trail it here, three to one. Trust me when I tell you no exceptions to the rule. Bringing blessings when I move. Special on my essence, I'm a boo. I'm lessons I'm written, law thoughts fool. More than when I was school. Into the box, Stephen Vogt. He'll start off the fifth in this one. The catcher, Stephen Vogt. First pitch of the A-B now. The 1-0. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to fix around this guy a little bit. The 
the 2 0 on the way. Lifted the other way out to left center. Back goes Grisham. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. That was a tough play, so let's take another look at it with Showtrack. Seemed to get a solid read off the bat, took a good angle at it, and he covered over 100 feet to make the grab. And I'm sure he'll be getting some high fives for that one. Standing in now, Zach Gallen down the right field line. That's going to be down for a base hit, possibly more than that. Running hard, he's digging for second. And he'll reach second now with one away. I think that base hit surprised him more than anything. He's gotten so used to setting guys down at nine in a row at that point that he just assumed he'd get him too. At the plate now, Tim LaCastro as he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. No hits to this point. He's ready. Here's the 0-1 behind 0 and 2 now nothing in two count and the pitch yes. and a fastball blew it right by him and there are two down so after getting the strikeout on the fastball not a bad time to check out our pitch speed comparison for our two starters and whoa look at that for a top speed 98 miles an hour that man is flat dealing So now to the plate, Nick Ahmed, runner in scoring position with Sugan. From the stretch. And he fouls this one off. Gallon at second with two down. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Throw cleanly into first, and that ends the inning. One hit, one left. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Diamondbacks three, and the Padres one. So stepping in is Austin Nova. He'll get his side started in the inning, and Dan, so far, they've been stifled offensively since the first inning. Well, they sure have, Matt. They came out of the gates and got hot right away. But whatever was going for them pretty much has disappeared. We'll see if they can wake it back up. And now pitch on the way. Hey, I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well-executed fastball down and away, and that's exactly what that is. He swings at that. That's off the end of the bat. That's not hard contact at all, and that's an easy out for the defense. And that misses downstairs for a ball one and one. Good pitch there called a strike on the inside corner. The one two. Now a ball lying toward the gap in left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with a single swing of the bat. And this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they could get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. And to hit will be Trent Grisham as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Two balls and no strikes to the Padres center fielder. Him up. 
Vote has a play. One away. So a runner on second with one down now, and the pitcher bats next. That will be you, Darvish. First pitch of the AB now, and he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Castro has to shade his eyes from the sun, but he stays with it for out number two. Now back, left fielder. So it's back to the top of the order now. And up next, it'll be the outfielder, Tommy Pham. He set, here it comes. Right through it here, and he's behind 0-1. Got to sit middle middle when a guy's trying to pitch around you. If he's going to give you first base, take it. Ground ball yeah, sent back up the middle. Over. There is Ahmed. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. One left for San Diego, and it remains a 3 1 ball game. Stepping in once again is David Peralta. Over two with a fly ball and a ground out on his line to this point. Now the pitch. Too high that time with the inning's first pitch. It's ball one. Left side, but well foul. Here's the one one. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. He hasn't thrown that pitch much all game. I got to believe as an offense, you just got to throw that pitch away and move on to the next one. The 2 2. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. The 2 2 one more time. Lazy fly ball out to center field. Grisham comes on now and he has it one down. The center fielder. Cattell Marte. Cattell Marte will stride in one more time as we flash you back to earlier. This was a big blow right here as he leaves the yard with plenty to spare. Set and the pitch to first. Fielded cleanly by Hosmer, and he'll step on first himself for the out. Now batting the first baseman, Christian Walker. Next to dig in, Christian Walker. Third trip to the plate for him here. He struck out and grounded out in his first two tries. The pitch. And he lays off there, 1-0. We're in the sixth inning here in a three to one ball game. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Back goes Grisham. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. So one, two, three go the Diamondbacks. And it's still three to one. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and set to go is the second baseman, Jake Cronenworth. First offering on its way. Cronenworth. 
Awesome. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Man, that's a good take there on that 0 2 fastball just missed. He must have a really good eye at the plate. Here comes the 1 2. It is looked at for ball number 2. Here's a hard hit ball that'll be caught out there at short. A sizzler that time, but the leadoff man is retired to begin the home sixth. <laughs> Up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. First pitch on its way. He takes the changeup the other way out toward right center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Now batters, the third baseman, Sammy Machado. Next up is Manny Machado, third at bat in this one. He's bounced out and popped out in his two previous trips. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. A ball and no strikes. After watching that one go by and a ball being called, you could rest assured he knows he's not getting away with another one of those. I guarantee you he's going to be aggressive on this next pitch. And a pitch inside, and that got him. And this is a case of a pitcher letting his frustrations get the best of him. He feels like he gets robbed on the previous pitch, and he just rears back and really let it go on the next pitch, but it got away from him in a big way. Eric Hosmer to the plate now. He swings and grounds it to short. Ahmed has it, and he'll go the short way to retire the side. Padres leave one. Score holds. It's three to one. Seventh inning ready to roll, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Eduardo Escobar. <laughs> ピッチャーを取り合い、待機させてもらいます。ピッチャーを取り合い、待機させてもらいます。ピッチャーを取り合い、待機させてもらいます。ピッチャーを取り合い、待機させてもらいます。ピッチャーを取り合い、待機させて
We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing three to one our score. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. やたらこれインコースを要求してきますね。あやばい。Fouled off. あんまりインコースやと当ててまいそうで。The 0-2 once more. Swung on and missed strike three. Diamondbacks down in order as the lead remains three to one. Nine Ks, seven hits. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Digging in is the outfielder, Will Myers. This is why the manager pencils these guys in in the middle of the order. Big spot, time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality ABs. Myers awaiting the 1-0. Uh, you could tell this guy's got great feel for all this stuff right now. To break out that nasty hammer right there, this guy's on point. The one-one, and he fouls this one off. Here comes the one-two. ホワイトソックス勝ってます。おっと、行った。これは捉えた、捉えた、捉えた、捉えた。よっしゃ、よっしゃ。第1号ホームラン。第1号ホームラン。Solo shot here off the bat of Will Myers. First home run of the campaign for him, and the Friars are back within a run of three to two now. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Chris Davinsky will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Carson Kelly will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Stepping in now, Austin Nola. As he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. He's got hits in both of his at bats so far in this one. This one also hit deep to left field. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And he'll get in there easily as the time runs at second now with nobody out. Wow, when I heard that and saw it leave his bat, I thought we were going to be all tied up. But it just didn't have enough to get out of here, so he's going to have to settle for a double. Time run on second, and now things are officially getting interesting. At the plate, Trent Grisham, as he'll take a look at ball one. Oh, for two for him to this point. What a good shot, son! Is now. Now the one zero is offered at and missed for the first strike. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Looked like a fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. The two-one home takes a pass and misses that strike two. Nola leads on second with nobody out. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. After it is Peralta. 
He gets there and makes the play for the first down. さすがに詰まりましたね。あダルビッシュさん変えましょうか。うんセカンドライトライト。パワー的には。野手の方が良さそうです。Brian O'Grady will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. O'Grady さんですか。Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Wow. He's working on bringing home the tying run, standing at second base. There it goes. He got all of that ball. Gone. A two-run shot that gives them the lead. So a two-run homer down the line in right field, first home run of the campaign for him as they take the lead four to three. Yeah, から跳ね上がってます。This is one of those situations you dream about when you're a kid. He steps up in a big spot and blasts his first home run of the year to take the lead. Storybook stuff has come to life. Alex Young is out from the bullpen now, as he'll get the call here on opening day. これでダルビッシュの負けはなくなりましたね。完璧でしたね。And now Tommy Pham. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. For his career in this matchup, he's hitless in three at bats. The 1-0 hit is taken for ball two. Ari Kawa na ka Nihonji mita na kao shite masu. Nikkeiji. Three runs already home here. なんかお笑い芸人の誰かに似てませんかこの人。Hard on the ground towards short. Mel fields it cleanly. Jumping the slow. Throw gets him two down. Those jump throws are always some of the most exciting plays you'll see. So here it is again with Show Track. Shows off some great range and it's still somehow able to get a lot behind the throw as his momentum was taking him the other way. Not everybody can make that play. Into the box now, Jake Cronenworth, as he'll reach for one and come up empty for the first strike. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Jurickson Profar will come on now as the pinch hitter. The 0 and 1 delivery, just a tick behind for a strike. Not a spot you'd expect a curveball. He's lucky he missed because that's the kind of pitch that gets hit out of the ballpark. And it's fouled away. I'll tell you right now, he let go of that one and he wanted to pull it back. That was a hanger, bad spot over the heart of the plate. He's lucky. He's lucky that's getting sent back. To him. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Peralta is under it and he makes the catch for out number three. 
So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. Padres lead it four to three. Jurickson Profar will stay in the ball game now as he comes on to play second here. Joe Musgrove has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. So now here is Carson Kelly and he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Now here's the pitch. On to the eighth here as a slider is taken to begin the at bat. It's ball one. You know, because this is just a one run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. One and one the count. The pitch. And that misses two and one. A great case of a manager sticking up for his pitcher right there and giving that umpire an earful. He didn't get that pitch called the way he wanted it to, but the manager's planting a seed in that umpire's mind to try to expand the strike zone so some of those borderline pitches start to go his pitcher's way. Now that the second baseman, Tim. Time called here as with the potential tying run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. Standing in now, Tim LoCastro. Now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. But a foul ball here, 0-1. Tries to get the bunt down here, but this is foul, and we'll see if he tries it again. 0 oh, and 2 count. Here's the pitch. Liner towards second. A bare hand for one. Back to first and a costly at bat there as the possible tying run is erased on the double play. Well, they got the tying run on base, but one ground ball later and it's gone. He's going to be frustrated with himself after that. Into the box, Nick Ahmed. As he'll take a look at a high strike here on the outside corner, it's 0-1. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. The count doesn't mean much to this batter. He's all in. He's not concerned with striking out, so he's going to get his A swing off. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Classic strikeout pitch right there on 0-2. It's the one we know he loves going to, but great recognition to lay off in that spot. Grounded to short. <laughs> and the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. The throw into second, but he'll be in there with a double. That was not a good pitch, but he handled it nicely, guys. Yeah, the pitchers got to wonder what he has to do to get it past this guy. That pitch was off the plate, but he shows great reach, gets good extension, and drives it for a two-bagger. Digging in next, David Peralta. It's been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. Lifetime numbers against Joe Musgrove. He brings a 4 for 12 line. Into center field, line drive base hit. Ahmed heads for the plate. 
And he's safe at the plate. It's a 4-4 game. You know, D-Row, in today's game, it's not easy scoring in the late inning, so that RBI base hit to tie things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen. I don't think a guy throws under 97 miles an hour with sinking count. <coughs> that is unbelievable he's able to get that knock in that big spot. So now to the plate, Cattell Marte lifted down the line in left. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. He's working on a one for three thus far. The 0 1 offering. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Fouled away. The 0-2. I know he buried that slider in right there, but that's a dangerous pitch. If he doesn't pot commit and bury that inside, it leaks out over the plate. He can get hurt with that pitch. And here's one that barely misses off the inside corner. Two and two. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three. And the inning is over. But the tying run comes across here, so it looks like this could be a wire job. Dalton Varsho is into the ball game here as he takes over behind the plate. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And up steps the big bat of Fernando Tatis Jr. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. And this pitch just about saws him off as he can't get extended at all. It's strike one. Boy, that's a jam shot right there. That's as good as it gets in my opinion. Woo, up and in. And here's one that misses to the Friar shortstop. It's a ball and a strike. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Hit in the air down the right field line. Calhoun is over to his left as he snags this one for the first out of the inning. A look there at the numbers for our two starters here today. Both guys recently departed from the ball game and looking on from the dugout. And it'll be the cleanup spot for the Padres. Manny Machado, lifetime versus this arm. He's 0 for 4. Now here's the first offering. In there, strike one. A great job pounding the zone, strike one. When you got a great hitter in the box, got to get ahead. Count leverage is a must. Oh, and he took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. A leap, but this is out of reach and off the wall. The relay. And he'll make it to third base safely with only one out as the go-ahead run. No, you can't fault the center fielders ever there. He tried to track it down, but I don't think he had much of a chance to get there. His teammates will eventually help him out, but by that time, he's safely at third. First baseman Eric Hosmer is in as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0 and 1. Well, this is a strikeout situation, but it's also a ground ball situation. I expect we'll see a lot of pitches down in the zone trying to prevent the hitter from getting the ball up in the air. Oh, one pitch on its way. In there, and it's 0 2 now. 
This is a situation where you're going strictly for the strikeout. Infield in, and from the offensive standpoint, you're just trying to create hard contact and get it by that infield. Ah, you will look at a called third strike, and that go-ahead run has to stay right where it is at third with two away now. It's never a good look to strike out looking, but it's way worse when you do it with a guy in scoring position. Those are the times you really want to see a guy battle and at least put the ball in play. To the plate now, Will Myers. Ah, As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. So far, two for three in this one. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. The 1-1. One, one. Outside, 2-1. and one. Two, yeah. two and two now. What I love right there is just the freedom in that yeah, hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. The 2-2. Two, two. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Here's the payoff pitch. Ah, Check swing, but that's in there for strike three anyway, and the inning is over. Clearly fired up to work out of that jam. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Now to the plate, here is Christian Walker. Lifetime numbers against Joe Musgrove. He's 0 for 5. Ready to deal, here comes the first pitch. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Long run for the center fielder. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. So here's Eduardo Escobar. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. First pitch on its way. Nope. One out, nobody on. Ball two now. Popped up. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. The 2 1. Fouled off. Here now, the 2 2. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3 2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Now the payoff pitch home. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. And he fouls this one off. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Fam comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for out number two. Now batting, right fielder. Up next, Cole Calhoun. He went down on strikes last time up. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Hot shot down the line. Myers gets there for the catch, and that ends the ah, inning. Nothing across here this half of the inning. All squared up and even in San Diego through eight and a half. The Friars have a chance to walk it off next. All set for the bottom of the ninth. Ah, and next to hit is the catcher, Austin Nola. Austin. First delivery to him. Hit back up the middle. 
quickly. There's one down to lead off the frame. So next to hit is Trent Grisham. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Jose Azucar will come on as a pinch hitter to try and make an impact with one away. First pitch of the A.B. now. A cut fastball by him that time, and he's in charge now. Nothing in two. Protecting on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. Bases are empty, one man out. And this is fouled at the plate. Stays alive, still 0 and 2. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. Swing and a blooper to the right side. And that'll take care of the pinch hitter here for route number two. Now batting the pitcher, Joe Mustro. Two out this pitcher. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Joe Musgrove. First pitch on its way. 4 1. Bases are empty here with two men out. Weak rounder back to the mound. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Padres down in order. This game's all tied in four. Jose Azucar will stay in the ball game as he takes over in center. As Drubal Cabrera is up off the bench to pinch hit here, so we'll see what he can do to begin the extra frames. Matt Strom takes the mound as he'll be the first man to pitch here in extra innings. Here's the first pitch. Breaking ball for a strike. 0 and 1. And the curveball is in there, so he's quickly behind. Nothing in two. You have one job in this situation, especially in down 0 2. You have to find a way to advance that runner to third and give your teammate a chance to drive something into the outfield. You cannot not come through in this situation. And Tatis is there for route number one. Up next to the diamond. So next to bat will be Dalton Varsha. His career numbers against this pitcher. Not a big sample size over one. Here's the first pitch. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike.
go ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. And it's fouled away. Now the one and two pitch fouled away. Oh, the old classic two strike. Let's throw the fastball right down the middle. Not in this game. Gotta believe you gotta work the corners a little bit more. Fastball command is paramount at this level. Oh, and he's gonna get run up on a curveball. That looked like a questionable strike at best. Two away. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. So the lineup flips over, and digging in, Tim LoCastro. His day at the plate hasn't amounted to much, 0 for 4, but this is a great opportunity to make amends. Well, when your team really needs you like they need it right here, you have to be able to put your personal struggles out of your mind. Right now is all that matters. Fouled off. On 0-2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. Lifted down the line and left. I mean, he's coming right after him, Matty. Three fastballs in a row. And he fouls this one off. Ready with another two strike offering. There's a curveball, but it misses well out of the zone. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that would strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. Uh, her ball misses inside. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0-2 to work the count back to 3-2, and, and he's seen a lot of pitches, too. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Myers gets under it and makes the catch to end the inning. One left for the Diamondbacks. Score remains tied at four. Yoan Lopez comes on to start the home tenth, and he's just hoping to get this one into the eleventh inning. <笑>あ、またピッチャーです。あれ、さっきもピッチャーちゃいました。え。あ、そっか。ピッチャーが。あ、そのままランナーに行ってる。じゃあ、そのまま<笑> Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Tommy Pham, in his career against this pitcher. Small sample, a perfect one for one. Here's the first pitch. This has to be a productive at bat right here. I know you want to drive the run in and get the RBI, but you have to find a way, bare minimum, to move this runner over to third. The 1 0. High in the air out to center field. Marte is there and he has it for the first down. Next to hit, Jurickson Profar. 
and he's got a chance to bring in the winning run. The question is whether they'll even pitch to him. Here's the first pitch. That's a tough pitch for a batter. If you're not expecting it, you'll end up with half a bat after you swing. The 0 1. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Possible game winners at second base here with one away. And he won't offer it that too high. One and two. Oh, and this is lined into center field. It's down for a base hit. Long throw to the plate. And they're going to walk off as winners. They've taken it here in extra inning. Well, that at bat shows clearer than anything that some guys, they, they have that clutch gene and some guys just don't. He brings home the winning run from second and is being absolutely mobbed by his teammates. What a finish. One run finish today, five to four, the final score. San Diego used the three runs seventh to help propel them to the win. Matt Strom claims the win out of the pen his first. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian, we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time. あんな前だ。簡易ハイライトみたいな。審判いくらもらったのか。最後はこの人のさよならで。多分同じのが出るんですよ。多分同じのが出るんですよ。若干ちゃいますかね。さっきとはちょっとちゃいますね。タティス <笑> パドレス、ドジャースも勝ってますね。残り3チームはみんな負けてますね。ヤンキース、オリオールズは勝って、阪神とホワイトソックス、アストロール、レンジャーズ、アリナーズ、ナショナルズ、ブレイブズ、マーリンズ、カーディナルズ、カブス、ワーズ、オリオールズはやっぱ
も今の設定で良さそうですね審判はちょっと癖あるので杖はあるんですけどさあこれでいきましょうかこれがあのメニュー画面ですねタティスジュニアをやたら押してるメニュー画面っていうかこれでもかとうんめちゃくちゃかっこいいですねサイゴの姿がみたいなあーちゃーこれからですよこれからモードとかはもうねそこまで変わり映えはないんですけどあと5番と XBOX 版があの球場のクリエイトがなんかできるとか言ってね書いてましたけど阪神来てや<笑>ああスーパースターですからねほんま来てまたすごいですよ肩はええしやたら打つしねとりあえず終わりましょうか終わってちょっと飯食ってなんやかんやしてから今度あれですね PS4 番のどこやったかな鳴かず飛ばずになって消えしていくあーちゃメッツ戦ですかねメッツとどっかの試合でしたうんはーいよあれ様でしたいやーこれはこれでなかなかいいですね。疲れ様でしたさあではではでは